JFRD is looking for young men and women who want to become firefighters through its apprentice program. Tomorrow, anyone who's interested will have an opportunity of a lifetime to serve this community. The open house will be held at the Legends Center at 10 a.m. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris spoke with JFRD's Chief Powers and the first young man, Janice, to graduate from the apprentice program. But how, why was this program created? Well, this is a great program. It was created for anyone between the age of 17 and 21 years old who has a desire to become a firefighter. You have to live in a very specific zip code. There are several listed. We'll tell you about that. But also, this is for anyone that if they get in the program and they are successful with it, it's that first step that bridges the gap for them to be able to become a firefighter in one of the largest fire communities, firefighter communities in the country. And they have that opportunity coming up this Saturday. We hear the sirens and we see the flashing lights as JFRD goes to a call to put out a fire or rescue someone from danger. And they are looking for more young people to carry on the firefighter legacy through their JFRD apprentice program created in 2016. I just felt like I was committed to it and I really wanted to do it. I just kept pushing for it and I really wanted it. Dwayne Lee was the first person to graduate from the program. It's a challenging but productive program that guides the apprentice to becoming state certified as an EMT and firefighter. All of their tuition is paid for. I just, it's just always in my genes, you know. Um, my grandma, she, she took care of us when we was younger. It was, I grew up in a house of six kids and just always committed. She always told me never to quit, so I don't quit anything that I do. Lee admits some days were harder than others, but his grandmother inspired him. He would catch multiple buses, travel three hours, and work an additional job, all with the purpose of becoming a firefighter. And one of JFRD's newest firefighters, Dwayne Lee. Powers wants more people like Lee to join the program. It don't just change the person's life that goes, it changes generations behind them as well because they get a job like this that they can, you know, support their family, take care of their family, afford to send their kids to college. So it changes generations behind them. I loved it. Some people may not love it, but you won't know unless you try it. Lee says one day he wants to become a chief, just like Powers, as he climbs the ladder in life and in his career. He knows JFRD will support his dream of becoming a successful firefighter.